Welcome back folks. What we are going to learn today is how to configure web books in GitHub. All right, so what are web books? Web books are nothing but, uh, you know, whenever there is an action uh, in, um, you know, GitHub, right, you actually want to trigger a build job in Jenkins. Okay, so there is some event happens in GitHub that actually trigger a build job in Jenkins, right, instantly, right? Uh, so you don't want to actually wait for one minute or 30 minutes or, or you, you know, even like uh, two seconds, right? You instantly want to kickstart your build job that is configured in Jenkins. Okay, so that's all webbooks, guys. Okay, let's see this in action. So if you look at uh, this particular website, this is where I have all the steps configured, ca uh, devops.com. You can actually come to this website, search this blog, click on here. And then you know if you uh, type in this word you, you're gonna actually get this particular page okay all right so so what is the pre-request so obviously right you have to have your uh, github account configured right you have to have your uh, repository created already so in this case i have already my uh, repository which i already have a job application set up okay i also need to have uh, jenkins up and running right i also created a job in jenkins okay and in the Jenkins, what you'll have to do, you have to actually go ahead and install this particular plugin. You need to, you know, install this plugin, GitHub integration plugin. Once you install this plugin, and these are the steps, right? So what you'll have to do, you'll have to go and uh, click on your existing job, and then, you know, uh, click on this particular option. You're gonna enable this option. Once you enable it, and uh, you'll have to go to your uh, repository and uh, settings and web books. Uh, this is where, you know, you're going to, add a web hook right Some, something like this okay so we're going to see that in detail i'm just kind of explaining you these steps uh, once you do that you'll have to enter the uh, you know your payload url right your jenkins url and then you'll have to put in the end github iphone web uh, once you do that you know um, yes that's it you're done right whenever you make a change in github that should actually invoke uh, you know the particular job what you have configured in jenkins Okay, all right, so let's see this in action. So let's quickly check whether we do have this plugin installed. Okay, so let me go to uh, Jenkins, go to manage Jenkins and manage plugins. Okay, and go to available tab and uh, click on GitHub integration, right? Um, so it so we have to install this particular plugin as you can see here github integration plugin I'm gonna select that and then click on you know install without restart Okay, awesome. So now the plugin is installed. Okay, so let me move on to uh, the actual steps. So we already have the job. Okay, so uh, you know, of course, so we already have existing job So I'm going to go to my Jenkins uh, click on this job click on configure so this is a job I actually want to trigger right whenever I make a code change in uh, github I really want to invoke this particular job okay so go under build triggers all you have to do is enable this option okay you just have to enable this option that's all okay so so this talks about you know um, basically github hook trigger for git scm pull that's all right and then once you do that um what you can do you'll have to go to your github and then choose your repository and click on settings and web books okay so this is our repository right i already have set, set set that up you know as you can see here in the source code management right we already have set it up right so go to settings and click on web books okay so you'll have to add webhook right so you'll have to click on here i'm going to sign in okay so you'll have to put in the payload url okay so how to actually get that payload url so what you'll have to do is let me save this you'll have to go to jenkins and uh, put it right here and then you can mention your content type is you know application json right that's all right you just have to click on add web book and then you know this particular event you know this talks about when and all you wanted to invoke the web book right so i think you can just leave it uh, this option like just the push event or you know 
for any activity if you want to trigger your uh, job you can also select this option okay so i think or you can also select you know individually right whichever the option you wanted okay but in my case i want to trigger whenever i perform git push right from github okay so click on add book okay so this is our web book right so what you can do uh, if you wanted to make sure that your web book configuration is correct you can always uh, click on your web book and go to recent deliveries and then click on this three dots so this should uh, you know uh, what actually this does is you know it's actually hit the um, payload url in jenkins and then you know we should have got the response so when you don't see any error uh, if you see green you're actually good response to when it is actually good it means that uh, github is able to invoke the uh, payload url from jenkins okay so awesome so everything is good now what i can actually do is go to my repository and make some code change so let's say this is my repository right so i'm gonna go here and then edit a file i'm going to make a small change like welcome to your books to Jenkins okay so I'm going to save this file or commit this file the moment I commit the job actually started kicking right so that's all guys that's how you actually configure web books in uh, github in order to trigger a job in Jenkins thank you for watching